word from the jury? Uh, no. Great. You know, no news is good news. Well, they're taking forever. Is that a bad sign? No. Um, uh, no, it doesn't... Was it a good sign? No, honey, it doesn't really mean anything, okay? And I will call you as soon as I hear uh, a word, I promise you. You know what you do? Just think of, uh, positive things like raindrops on freaking roses and that sort of thing, okay? Brown paper packages tied up with string. Are you going to eat something or just keep staring at me? <laughs> I'm happy. Yeah. I mean, you stood up for me in front of Riva and your dad, and I don't know, maybe I was hearing things, but I, I thought I heard you tell me that you love me. I do love you. I love you very much. But we have to start, you know, trusting each other. We have to be more open and honest because what happened with Harley... I know. God, uh, no, yeah, don't, well, don't go there. I'm sorry. I feel so bad about that. Okay. As it is, all right? Okay, okay. And I hate sounding like a broken record, but no, I'm going to take care of my daughter. I'm going to protect her because if I don't build, then who's going to? Well, how about we protect Emma together? Hmm? I'm sorry I hurt Harley's case. I like Harley. It's not personal. What? You okay? Uh, yeah, I just, um, I am so sorry, honey, but I just thought of something. I gotta go finish a project, but I will catch up with you later, okay? Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Hey. The jury's still out, and yes, I'm going crazy. Come on, let's go. Olivia, you have a moment for your father-in-law? Sure, have a seat. Great. Catch up a little business? Yeah, it never ends, does it? No, it's nature of the beat. Mm. You and I have really been through some stuff, haven't we? Yeah. Sure didn't want you marrying my boy. <laughs> you know, it's funny, I, uh, I thought you were a mean, vicious, backstabbing piece of trash. It's amazing how right I was. O'Neill. The jury is still <laughs> deliberating, Gus. Yeah. What have you been doing? I'm, I'm prepping. The case isn't an appeal. I could turn it around. I could, I could counter and... Uh, can I just... Can I run some... What's the last time you ate or drank or anything? <coughs> I'm not tired. I just, I'm not fine. I just, I just care about Harley. Well, that's out of our hands now. Okay? That's in the jury's hands. If I were you, I'd start worrying about myself. <laughs> I am not even hungry. I'm not I'm fine. I'm talking about the charges that you could be facing, Gus. Harley isn't the only one that's going to be doing prison time. Isn't it romantic? Gus giving up everything for the woman he loves. Now they're both going down together. Ain't love grand? Hey, can I get a uh, pitcher with two mugs, please? Okay. So why'd you bring me here? Because I don't want Frank or Buzz or anyone else to hear what I have to say. Does the number seven mean anything to you? As in juror number seven. I know her husband, or Lewis. And this guy will do anything to score Lewis' contract, and I mean anything. Are you talking about fixing the jury? Phone call and you are free. Just give me the nod. Did you get my message? I mean, I got yours. I didn't understand it, but um, I'm still at the White House. I'm just going over some papers, but I can. Hi, meet I'm sorry. I know you, you said you'd meet me after work, but I couldn't wait. Well, what's the matter? Are you okay? No, it's Queen Elizabeth. Just when you think she can't possibly do anything worse to hurt my family, it's off with their heads. She took Spanakopa off the menu, didn't she? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Talk. Do you want some coffee? No, you don't need any coffee. What? Tell I me. I talked to Coop right before I called you, and he told me that Lizzie has evacuated the Coopers from the boarding house. What? As of this minute, my family is homeless. She can't do that. Oh, can't she? Sure she can. 
Queen Elizabeth can do whatever she wants to do. You know what? I'm going to take care of this one. My entire family is so stressed out over Harley's trial, she can't even know about this. No, she can't know about this. By the time she finds out, I'm going to have the problem solved. I am going to find us a place to live. Woo! Well, don't hold back, cowboy. Just call it like you see it. <laughs> I just did, darling. I sold Alan half of the Lewis Construction Building. Big deal. It was a business deal. I'm sure you've had some unconventional deals in the past. It's one thing to be ambitious, Olivia. But it's another thing when you serve up good people just to pad your own portfolio. <laughs> Why are you talking about good people? You, Billy? No. No, I'm talking about little Harley Cooper. All right. I take it you know about the picture. Yeah. Well, of course you know about the picture. You were spying on Bill and me yesterday. That's nice, Billy. I was watching out for my little boy, uh, which is more than I can say for no, you. No, I love him. He and Emma are the most important people in my life. No, no, I don't think so. I think Alan tops the list. This whole thing reaches Spalding. What are you talking about? I think you served up Harley Cooper so you keep your butt on the Spalding board and stay on the good side of Alan. You know what? You believe what you want to, but it was survival, pure and yeah, simple. Yeah, right. That's what the cannibals always say. You don't strike me as the cornered bar kind of gal. I'm wearing leopard. Why does everybody always say that? <laughs> and ravishing in your leopard, I might have. Thank you. Doggone it, I hate being unoriginal. So, what are you doing here? Mm. I always picture you with a half-mass cape hanging out under some opera house. <laughs> you spend a few weeks on an island entertaining guests, you know, and you get such a bad rap. Mm. Well, we all have something to live down, don't we? Mm. At least yours is gothic. Mine is just desperate. I think we have more in common than you might think, Beth. We both had difficult decisions to make. I wanted to keep living. You wanted to keep your children. I think those are basic decisions. Noble goals. So, who cares how the rest of the world looks at it or what they think of us? I wish I had some of that. Some of what? Your, uh, nerve detachment. Well, I teach seminars, you know. <laughs> I do. My self-help uh, video, it's a million dollar set. Get me one. I'll give you my credit card. <laughs> you got it. Fresh starts. Jury tampering? Are you nuts? You know, forget about juror number seven. Forget about her husband, okay? If I go down... I'm, I'm trying to keep that from happening. Yeah, okay, but if it happens, it happens. And I'm sure not taking you down with me. See, I know you're going to say that. That's why I got plan B. Let me guess. Juror number eight? Mm. My family has access to a bow in Springfield Marina. We're going to mm. get you on board on the cover of darkness and sail you overseas. Mm. That's great, except the marina's on a lake. Exactly. And you need to get in line. What are you talking about? Because my father already offered to get me out of the country. And Frank said uh -huh. he was going to turn in his badge and smuggle me to Mexico. And this is my favorite coop hmm. in Marina. They came up with an idea to ship me to Paris overnight via prepaid mailer. Well, That's a good one. Come I on. I know who to call if I get in trouble. But thank you for the thought. I just don't want you sitting around while you're waiting for the axe to fall. That's all. Why not? I mean, thank you for the thought. But why not? You're not my family. I can understand my family going out on the limb for me. They're supposed to do that. They're the Coopers. But what about you? You have a wife. Her daughter is nuts about you. You've got a job that I think is going really well. Why would you risk everything for me? Because we're friends. What's really going on here? I feel like I owe you. Why? 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 And you better tell me because I have absolutely nothing left to yes, lose here. Yes, okay. Easy, easy. Listen to me. I feel like you wouldn't be waiting around for a jury to decide your fate if it wasn't for my wife. Olivia? The picture of Gus's powwow with the star witness in the garage. Guess who was the photographer? Olivia. Harley's not going to jail. Really? You know, if I didn't know you better, Gus, I would say you were preparing motion for an appeal. I'm just doing my job. The only chore you have left is preparing for your victory right, party. Leave, leave him alone, Oh, Why? Come on, look, look at this man. He's been up night and day trying to keep his beloved out of prison. And if you ask me, it's not his love for her that's his driving force. It's his guilty conscience. Oh, I didn't ask you. Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, Gus, admit it. You botched this case. 
You failed once again someone else who was foolish enough to trust you just like you failed your brother and you failed me. Right, that's enough. Yeah, I failed, Harley, okay? And I feel like crap about it. But you know who would understand that? It's you. Because you're just like me. You failed Philip, didn't you? The thing is, he needed your help and you didn't have the courage or the guts to help him when he needed it. So he died. And you blame everybody else, everybody else in town but yourself. But I think you're responsible for it. I don't have to listen to this. No, you're right. You're right. We're both failures, me and you. Like father, like son. The only difference is, I still have time to fix what I screwed up. You don't. Too late for you. But I don't have to prove that to you. I only have to prove that to myself. Take it easy, man. <coughs> I know what I have to do. I just have to be prepared in case, in case I have to counter. And I, I want to keep, I want to keep her away from her family. But I'm going to make sure. Gus. Gus. Call my dog. What? I like Harley. I do. But the fact is, I didn't make Gus play fast and loose with that witness, okay? I am not the lawbreaker here. Oh, no, you just happened to come along and take a little old picture. I have a child. I did what I had to do. Darling, you gotta work on some new excuses. Alan threatened to take Emma away from me. I am not gonna let that happen. I am her mother. It is my job to keep her safe. You know, I totally agree with you on that. And I'm gonna dedicate myself to opening up Bill's eyes. So, let me just get this straight, Billy. You're declaring war on me. Yeah. You're gonna lose. We'll see. Amen. Hi, it's me. Listen, I need a little research done on my father-in-law, Billy Lewis. I don't know what I'm looking for. I just know that Philip Spaulding was blackmailing him and Billy hated him for it. So let's start there and keep digging until it gets really, really dirty. Where's my briefcase? Come on, come on. I got your briefcase right here. Don't worry. Oh. It's too late. I got the message. What's the problem? Nothing. I'm dealing with well, Mary Poppins right here. I, I, he was he was doubled over at the courthouse. <coughs> he was coughing up blood. Uh, he was holding his stomach a lot. Well, let's just take a look at you. Let's get around. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine, really. I, I got to get back. I, I, I'm in the middle of Harley's defense. I don't... I can't. I don't Why know. are you fighting this? Because I'm in the middle of her defense. Do you Let's understand just go me? go inside, tough guy. I don't have the time for this. You. I don't have the time for this. Let's go. Come on. Please. Come on. I will be very gentle with you. Let's just get it over with. Just I hurry, got, I hurry got up, things please. to do. You know, I'm not... You're welcome. There's a problem. Mr. Itoro's insurance company is uh, denying all the coverage. Well, you can't deny him treatment. I mean, that's against the law. Well, someone's got to cover these expenses. I'll take care of that. What's your relationship to Mr. Itoro? He's my ex-lawyer. Okay. Okay, here it goes. Okay. Because we are Spaldings, Elizabeth, we live by a different set of rules. Needs work. <laughs> I suck at impressions. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> you have a beautiful laugh. <laughs> I don't, um, by the way, suggest that you try to make Alan laugh with this impersonation. <laughs> no, I don't know. I think you get a kick out of it, you know? I mean, I say the more powerful the man, the more he can enjoy a joke, even at his expense. Alan never does anything at his own expense. Hmm. Let's not talk about Alan or Spalding or... The trial. That doesn't leave us with much. Oh, I'm sure we can think of something if we put our heads together. And we all know three heads are better than two. Why would Olivia take a picture of Gus and Webster in a parking garage? Because she needed something, anything that was going to ruin your defense. That's... Why? Why? What did, what, what did I do to make her hate me so much? She doesn't hate you. I mean, she, she, she said she'd kill Philip herself. She said it under oath. It was Alan. He said if you didn't go down for Philip's murder, that she was going to, and Emma would be raised by the Spaldings. Oh, it's the same thing. He threatened me. So either it, it was my butt or Olivia's. I hope Mr. Aitor appreciates your generosity. He must not 
know about this. Do you understand? Yes, sir. We're done, right? Well, we have a few more tests to run, but I have Just a pretty send me your bill and we'll be all square. Well, wait, no, you're not going anywhere. What are you talking about? You're working, wait. You're working, wait. Harley will understand. No, I don't think that you understand. All right, the jury's coming out with a verdict, and whether it's good news or bad news, I need to be You want there. some news? You have a bleeding ulcer, Gus. All right. I'll drink milk. You have a hole in the lining of your stomach. That hole is bleeding. It's going to get infected if you don't take care of it. Just give me some drugs. Give me a prescription. I'm going to check in the hospital to see how no, this ulcer is. No, but you can't. I'm yes. not going to check. You need I will rest, go to a spa Scott. when she's acquitted. Rest. How's that? You okay. need rest. Oh, so this isn't about medicine no, you know at what? all. This is you about me what? grilling you, know you on the stand. Yes, it is. She needs me. Go I have to Come go. Here. To, Come on. Let's sit down here and we're going to take care of that. Put it in her jacket, please. Jackie, uh, you don't need to do the whole IV yes, thing. Yes, he does. Ow. Come on. Just, ayish. Bring me Lizzie Spalding's head on a platter. Uh, now, now. Come on. You don't want to do that. First of all, it would be way too messy. You need to focus. You're right. Mm -hmm. I need to focus. And I always focus better on a full stomach. Me too. I'll get us some pizza. Sounds good. I'll be eating these all afternoon. What are you staring at? You. You're so fiery. Oh. I love it. Well, you'll have time to admire me later, Santos. Right now I need shelter. Look in the paper. See what you can find. Aye, aye, Captain. Okay. Oh, hey, here we go. Cozy with character. <laughs> we both know what that means. Mm -hmm. Okay, come on. Now we learned some things when we looked for your apartment. Let's apply that right. knowledge. Does it have to be a house? No, no, I'm flexible. I didn't grow up all fancy schmancy like you. Oh, yes, well, I'm sure you had a lot more fun. Look, goldfish. <laughs> yeah, probably. Until mm -hmm. my parents split. Hey. Remind me not to tell my mom about this when I call her. She's been trying to get me to come back to California, and this what? is going to give her entirely too much ammo. No, there's no way I'm letting you go back to California. See? Mm -mm. You and my dad agree on something. One thing. Okay. Oh, now this is... No, that's a bad neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Oh, now this is nice. Eh, too snooty. You know, you could always move in with me. Careful, we might take you up on that offer. What? We? Oui. You don't think I'm gonna move in with you and let my whole family fend for themselves? No way! We're a package deal! So, you were saying... <clears throat> what's, uh, going on here? Holly's stalking me. He didn't tell you about our arrangement? No? I'm following him around. I'm doing research on a story I'm writing. Mm -hmm. Featuring me. Although I was under the impression that this article would be about me um, as a Spalding hiree. Well, I'm hoping to get the whole, to capturing the whole man. I see. You can relate to the idea of capturing now, can't you, Sebastian? <laughs> I think that I should go. No, <clears throat> please stay. Listen, I spent weeks and weeks alone with him, cut off from the rest of the world. The uh, up close and personal option was taken care of. Oh, come on, darling. That was a once in a lifetime opportunity. Fortunately. But now Sebastian is a new man. New mm -hmm. job, new town. You know, I have to say, you are a dedicated journalist, you know, willing to follow me into this den of iniquity, considering your personal history. Anything for a good story. <laughs> and I will drink to that. Beth, another one? Sure. And let me guess, a uh, club soda for Miss Reed? Yes, fine. So tell me. Are you and Sebastian recent acquaintances, or is there something more? Well, that depends. Are you asking me as a journalist, or as a competitor? I wasn't expecting to see you here. I'll bet. Is the jury still out? <sighs> Look, I want you to know that I I'm very sorry for what you're going through. I already do know. Oh, Bill told me about the photo. Well, then I'm surprised you're talking to me at all. 
Look, I, I hope you can understand that I did what I did for my daughter. For eyes. your daughter's sake. I know that. It's like we talked about the other night in front of company. There's nothing a mother wouldn't do for her own child, right? Yeah? Then you do understand. I think I understand why you did it, Olivia. But there were other choices you didn't have to make. What are you talking about? I'm talking about that you put Emma's life at risk the second you went back to Spalding. What were you thinking then? Wait a minute. I don't think that I was putting my daughter's life at risk. You were gambling with her life and with Bill's life, too. Do you honestly not see how lucky you are? Carly, please. No, no, no. You have a great guy here. And you have a beautiful daughter. And you have a future. Which is something I might not have. You have a future that nobody can take from you unless you give it away. Which is exactly what it looks like you're doing. How stupid can you be? Carly, all I can do is say I'm sorry. I I, you know what? My, my future is ticking away minute by minute here. So if you're looking for forgiveness, I don't have time to give that to you. Maybe Bill can. Look, I just want to try and make things right, okay? But you know what? Be, be the wife that he des deserves. Be, be the mother that, that Emma needs. Don't let all this pain and loss go for nothing. Make it count. Make the time you have with the people that you love count, okay? Just don't... Don't waste it all, is what I'm saying. Harley! Well, maybe she's right about one thing. Maybe you are the only person who can save me. Be there, be there, be there. Gus, it's me. Um, I know you said that you would call me if there was any news, but I needed to hear your voice. A word. Something, anything. Um, just call me back, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. What, are you, what are you doing? Can you just pass me my briefcase? Better yet, can you get me out of here? No, I will not pass you your briefcase, and no, you... How am I supposed to help Harley? I'm, st I'm in this hospital. I'm stuck to this thing. I mean, come on. Well, how are you going to help Harley if you bleed to death? I'm fine. I just... Uh, I'll, I'm fine. This is the same kind of obsessiveness that led you to tamper with that witness to begin uh, with. You know that, right? It make? Harley spoke to, the, spoke to the jury with her heart. And that's better than any hazy testimony or circumstantial evidence. You know that. I'm not questioning Harley's heart. I'm not questioning your heart. And when it comes to the law, Gus, reason trumps heart. You know that, I know that, and most important, the jury knows that. What am I supposed to do? You tell me to do nothing? There's nothing you can do. Hardy's fate now lies in the hands of those 12 people. Get some rest. Forgive me if I think that this is about more than just selling papers. <clears throat> what, you think I have a personal stake in this? Well, I, you and Sebastian were on that island for weeks, and if the rumors are even half true, he kept you and Michelle virtual prisoners. Nothing virtual about it. Yeah, yeah, I, I have a personal connection to the story. So, it, it sounds like you're writing more of an expose than a profile. Let's just split the difference and call it a cautionary tale. I intend to reveal Sebastian Hulse for who he is underneath this new man veneer. And, and for what? To um, warn unsuspecting damsels like myself? You and anyone else who gets drawn in. He can be charming, he can be fascinating, but deep down, he is a predator, and I'm going to peel back all the layers of camouflage and show him for exactly what he is. Here you go. One club soda okay. on the rocks. And your drinks? I decided I'm not really in the mood to be under the holly scope right now, so... Beth, right home? 
Why not? As long as you have an extra helmet? I do. Sorry, I only have two helmets and no sidecar, so, um, until next time. Well, how am I supposed to save you? Ship you out of the country? Look, all my life it's been me, okay? Just me, alone against the world. Mm. Even in my other marriages, you know? I had husbands, but I never had a friend or an ally. I didn't trust them, all right? They didn't trust me, and I just want this to be different. And I thought it was. You will do anything including help her break the law, but you can't seem to understand why I would want to protect my own child. I'm a survivor, first and foremost. I survive because I learn how to fight. That's what I do when I or anybody that I love is threatened. Mm -hmm. I fight. I go into attack mode. No. And so do you. Alan thinks that you and I are so different, but we're not. No, we're not. And you knew all about this when you married me. You said you loved me. I do love you. I do. But we have to work on trusting each other, and not just with words, but with actions. All right. But I'm going to mess up, all right? Because yeah. I'm a human being, and I fail sometimes. And, yeah, well, and when you do, I'm going to call you on it, just like I expect you to call me on it when I mess up. But we have to expect the best of each other. Olivia, we have to demand it. Right, what the heck is this marriage for? I promise you, I will do everything. I can to be the wife that you deserve. We didn't cover that in our vows, did we? I don't think we did. <laughs> Harley's right. I am lucky. So can I take you home and show you how lucky I really feel? Please. We are in a crisis. We have to stick together. Okay. No, I, I got it. I got that. So, who are we talking about? Well, there's my dad and mm -hmm. grandpa and Coop and hopefully Aunt Harley and the boys. They spend some time with their dad's families, but their home base is with us. You know, I think Robbie would love this. Why do you look so freaked? No, 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 I'm not. I'm not. I'm just uh, trying to imagine me and your father cohabitating. Well, it just wouldn't be you and my dad. I mean, my grandpa needs a place, too. He's oh. a bunkin with you guys. <laughs> just a warning, they both snore. Great. Well, then I think I'll be bunkin' with the boys. And, um, so that means that you and Harley can sleep in the kitchen, which is actually very convenient because then you can get up very early and cook breakfast for all of us. Oh, me and Harley getting up early. Mm -hmm. Doubtful. We're not exactly morning people. So let me see here. I've got two snorers for roommates. Two girls who are grouches in the morning, a bunch of kids. What's in it for me? Oh, what about Coop? Well, what, what's his problem? It's a little crazy when he walks in his sleep, but oh, we just make sure to lock the windows and the doors. Oh. What's the big deal after everything you've been through? What's a house full of Coopers? I'm kidding. I knew that. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. But thank you for not running out the door. Uh huh. <laughs> No, it would take a lot more than your nutty family to keep me away from you. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> now, this is a file from the Chicago Police Department, if you would, please. It's a personal profile on the witness. Did you read this file when you were in Chicago? Did I read it? I don't know what I read back. You don't know. I May I remind you that you're under oath, you Mr. Right. Right. rolling over on us, didn't you? But it didn't work. Oh, objection. Uh, argument. The picture, I withdraw. I guess it's Powell with a star witness in the garage. Guess who was the photographer? Olivia, look, I want you to know that I am very sorry for what you're going through. Look, I, I hope you can understand that I did what I did for my daughter. For your daughter's sake. I know There's that. nothing a mother wouldn't do for her own child. Do you honestly not see how lucky you, you are? You have a future that nobody can take from you unless you give it away. My, my future is taken away. Looks different, doesn't it? Empty. 
less scary. What are you doing here? I... I just... I wanted to be here when the... Has the jury just... Why is this taking so long? I just... I just want this to be over now. It will be over. It will be over soon. I wasn't gonna drink. Ah, don't you call me. You said you were in a bar and you needed my help. No, but I wasn't gonna drink it. I just came to the bar because I was working on a story, you know, and brought me here. Come on, Holly. <laughs> You've heard it all, right? You've heard it all. You've used them all, too, right? What do you think? I'm in denial. Look, no. There's a meeting right around the corner of the church. You and I can get there and catch most of the meeting. No, 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 no. I wasn't even going to pick up. It's not a drink I want so much. It's just, I was just craving a friend. I need a friend. Never tell you I have a thing for your knees. Well, that's great because my knees have a thing for you. Leave it, leave it. No, 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 no. Leave well, it, leave it. It might be spalding. Definitely leave it. Where are you going? They're just gonna call back. Well, then, you'll have to mix business and pleasure right now. Hello? You wanted some information on your father in law? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Billy Lewis made some major payments to a dummy corporation. What? So, people do that all the time. But not this. Except this corporation is a cover for a thug for hire. Oh, my God, that's amazing. Oh, God. But why would Billy Lewis want to buy serious muscle? I have a pretty good idea. So do I. Good news? Could be. Yeah. Well, and if you're gonna multitask, you better do it like this. It's gone. It's gone. What? Who? Gus. What? Security, this is Dr. Bauer. I want you to search the building for a patient. His name is Gus. I... What? You're wasting your time. He's back at work. You know it and I know it. For Harley? Yeah. He's not going to stop until he clears her or dies trying. What? You admire him even after pulling the stunt? Don't you? Don't just stand there. Get someone on the phone and find him or he's going to kill himself. Well, gee, Alan. You do care. Oh, yes. Yes, I care very much. I want Gus Itura 100% healthy and standing beside Harley Cooper when the jury comes in and pronounces her guilty of murder. <coughs> what's wrong? Hey, what's wrong? Nothing. I think I had some bad tuna today. Well, why don't you let me take you home and put you to bed? I'm not supposed to be taking care of you, remember? No, remember? I think we're supposed to be taking care of each other. Mm -hmm. Well, you're taking care of me and I'm taking care of you. Who can take care of the kids? <laughs> Who's going to take care of the kids? That's a very good point. I That's forgot right. about them. <laughs> Which reminds me of a little game that Zach used to play called Gone Land. Land, Land. Land. <laughs> If I had a dime for every sheet that I put on the table so that he could crawl underneath mm -hmm. with his little flashlight and be a gone. Dime. 900. And what did he say? To my own world where there is no time and no one can find me. That'd be about $930. <laughs> Come on. What are you doing? I'm going to Godland. It's my own. Where there is no time. <laughs> what, are you, 
When somebody <laughs> comes in here. Come on. Come on, <laughs> Where there is no time. And no, no one, one can find us. Right. To a world, world of, of our own. own. Where there, there is, is no, no time. And no one can find us. To a world of our own. Where there is no time. And no, and no one, one can find us. No one can find me.